Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I turn my float wheel from this into this. And it's not really going to be a tutorial, I'm just going to show you what I did and, you know, you can enjoy the process. So first off, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Float Wheel. They didn't have to, I didn't ask for it, they just randomly sent me this kit and I really appreciate that. So thank you Float Wheel. So for those of you not familiar with it, the Balance Buddy is an open source project I did a while ago and I figured now that I've got this Float Wheel, what a perfect excuse to give them a shout out and advertise my new code. So it's just a simple Arduino project designed to add all the features that you would expect in a one-wheeled balancing vehicle it, just for all the bells and whistles. It operates over CAN bus and you can find a link to the project with more detailed instructions on my GitHub in the description down below. As you can see from my breadboard setup that I was using in testing, there are a lot of wires, but we're going to start fresh and build a new clean setup. So the first thing I always do is deepen everything because I'm nerdy like that. And don't forget to remove that sticker from your beeper. Oh, and I totally forgot about all these LEDs. Well, okay, we're only actually going to use 16 of them. So here is the end of day one of wiring. And I swear there was a picture from day two of wiring, but I don't know where I put it. So here is day three of wiring. And so here you can see the connection points, just the CAN bus wires going to the Balance Pro and stealing the 5 volt power from the Bluetooth module. So it's actually pretty simple. You can see here I just taped down the Arduino and the CAN bus module the same way I had just taped down my Bluetooth module because that's just how I do things. So I got the wiring all cleaned up and here is a photo of the display which I placed right on the side. Here is the startup sequence. The light fades on nice and smooth. Hey, and there's a beeper too. The LEDs are also directional and I can set them to whatever color I like. I can also adjust the brightness when the foot pad is not activated so that when it's charging, it doesn't blind me. And look at that nice smooth ramp down. Here I have my beeper set to 80% duty cycle and you can hear it going off. This one is not very loud, but you can add whatever beeper you like. Here, as you can barely make out, is the display. It shows voltage, MOSFET, temperature, ADC values, and as I push it, you can see the switch state toggling. It also shows the most recent fault and some duty cycle info. So that's pretty much all I have to say on this project. It's a fun little addition you can do, and the benefits are really nice. The wiring is a pain in the butt, but otherwise, it's actually pretty cool upgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.